Yo, good evening everyone, and welcome to another installment of the Cup Championship Mode. I almost forgot the name there for a second. It is race number 13 out of 24. We are past the halfway mark, and we are sitting fourth in the standings. I am looking forward to this race, weirdly enough, because this was my least favorite track out of Heat 3, but 11th place is actually nothing to cry about so definitely out of the pocono out of uh the last race we're at which I, it, the name escapes me um oh yeah dover was uh before that as well man it has just been a crazy season so far and i am looking forward to doing better <laughs> let's just say um yes we are sitting uh fourth in the championship right now joey logano kyle bush brad keselowski in front of us however uh, all of those are starting ahead of us, so we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of stuff to do. We have a lot of ground to gain, and we have a lot of points to make up. So, without further ado, chat, let's just get right into it. I've held you up long enough. I love that Kevin Harvick scheme. Mm, so good, and not so much on the Alliance truck parts, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. So we have Parker Kligerman and Alex Bowman uh, failing pre-race inspection. Woo, and um, of course. Uh, we have uh, Brad Keselowski on pole. Of course, right, our championship up. rivals. All but yeah, without ready. further ado, we are green. Get right on the back of Carl Larson. Um, New Hampshire, weirdly enough, on this track oh, is out. actually, weirdly enough, kind outside, of easy outside. compared to like the Xfinity Series counterpart. Um, we definitely. Uh, need to uh, kick up our pace a little bit. And I feel like New Hampshire is the place to do start that. Like, here we are already going three wide, so we know we have a little bit of uh, confidence in our car. A little bit of... Uh... Whoa, hello, Larson. Didn't know you wanted a backup like that. I ideally want to be on the outside here. So it looks like we finally actually are able to get that done. Yeah, we're going to get on the outside of Chris Busher. We definitely want to be here, like, just like I said. What's up, Dewey? How you doing today, my guy? Uh, nothing's up with me. How about you? Um, I am... Ah, I don't know. This race could either go uh, really good or really bad for me. So hopefully it's really good. But yeah, um, just got done watching... Uh, a league race uh, from uh, the Coca-Cola Cup Series, and Clear. yeah. All right, oh, clear. oh, it's good. Uh, what's up, Greg? How are you doing today? Hold Dang, your Eric line. Jones has somewhere to be. Inside. Change your name? Oh, okay, that's fine. No big deal. Careful. Yeah, I didn't know. There's a, a couple of people come by that Hold change their line. names, and Not I'm just like, who are you? Identify yourself. So, it looks like Jimmy Johnson hopefully isn't uh, the cork in the bottle here. Because we do not want to be stuck now. behind these guys for so long. Just been working on the race car? Oh, man. Yeah, um, how was the first race? Or did you already have it? Or did you not have it yet? Kind of gas it up a little bit right there. Kind of get in a good position for the corner. Ooh, hello. Anything in particular that you wanted to work on in the car, or...? Careful, still there. All right, clear low. May 1st. Oh, okay. I didn't know if dirt uh, already started yet or not. But uh, I just wanted to be sure. Clear down low. Dang. Yeah, do you have anything special that you wanted to get uh, tuned up, or... Like, do you have, like, a checklist that you wanted to get done, or was still it just there. general stuff? You excited for the season to start? I'm sure you are. Duck to the inside? No, I think. I think we kind of stick it on the outside here. The car is all in pieces? Oh, okay. Hey, you know. Honestly, you do so much uh, for that car. Like, seriously. Like,. I, well, I mean, I know you're very specialized in uh, what you do. I would never be able to do to do that. So, dang, man. Still there. 
for you to be able to take the car apart and then put it back together, I would not be able to do that. And my God, Ryan Blaney is playing both teams here. He's playing inside and outside. We're going to try to push him a little bit, try to push him one way or the other. We're going to kind of gas it up right here. Kind of just stay alongside. Bam, there we go. Usually, like, here I am. I'm bad enough with Ikea stuff. I would not be able to take apart an entire car and put it back together. You, my guy, are so, so good at what you do. I know it makes it sound like I'm kind of buttoning you up, but, like, yeah. And I can say that because I uh, I tried to go into mechanical engineering originally. That was my uh, original major in uh, college. It didn't work out, as you can tell. Uh, here I am uh, being a uh, student teacher to be uh, to go into teaching social studies. So obviously it didn't work out. But it's what I wanted to be originally. So lap 10 out uh, of the most boring race on the, on the calendar. Gotta love it. Tyler is doing good. God, I hate this track. I, I look forward to it because I it's actually going to be a good point save for us. But I hate it because it's so boring. New Hampshire sucks. Chad, what do you think? What, what What's your opinion on New Hampshire? Does it suck? Are you guys in agreement with me here? Or am I just uh, spitting hot air in my butt? Be like, Private Pad, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm just like, I think I do. This track sucks. Seeing a packed house here. Insulting. Insults me personally and deeply. Chat, hopefully you all know this is all in jest. I'm just joking around. Ooh, hello. Just love tap the wall. There we go. We're good. Gotta tap it here and there, just to show the wall who's boss. But yeah, uh, what can I say about New Hampshire? Um, it's very weird in terms of like the corners. It's like, with it being so flat, the tires wear like absolutely crazy. Like we're already down to 90%. So we gotta definitely be careful on uh, how much we uh, spend. I, so I, with that being said, the reason why it wears is that it really wears out the rears more so on the long run. And since we're going to expect a long run here and there, well, not here and there, we are, um, I have, I have it for a tire setup. So we're not going to be the best going into the corner, but we're going to be really good out. We have a very good twisting and turning kind of car where, as you can see, I'm kind of dipping up, diamonding the corner a little bit, entering low, drifting on up, and then cutting back low again. That's like the best line around here based on what I uh, could tell in practice. But yeah, how's everyone's weekend going? Who's excited for the Clash tomorrow? Oh my god, let me tell you something, chat. I watched the most absurd ARCA race today. Literally. It was like the 2019 uh, Daytona truck race. There was like only five real cars that could finish the race. And it was still an absolute disaster. I got found out, I actually found out uh, from NASCAR on Reddit 
that um, apparently, and prepare yourselves for this chat, hold on to your butts. The pace car caused a three car pileup. Now, it just didn't, that just wasn't showing in the Fox broadcast. Whoop, knocking the wall down. Um, but apparently it happened. And I'm just like, that is the most ARCA thing I've ever heard. Apart from the big one happening with like 40 to go, the wall being knocked down, not wall, um, I just did that. Um, the uh, pace car causing a three car pileup on the red flag has to be the most absurd thing I've heard this weekend. And please chat, my challenge to you, give me something that will surprise me. So like from me to you, today you learned that the pace car took out three cars in the Arca race today. Now you give me a did you know kind of fact. Surprise me, essentially is what I'm uh, challenging you guys with. All right, chat, well, good news. Uh, we are up into P7, bad news. All uh, all three of my championship rivals are ahead of me still. 60% up here are championship rivals. The other three, eh, not so much. Like, we have Kurt Busch. Yes, he's still in the top 10. Eric Jones at uh, top 10 in points, but... We're not talking, we're, we're talking big boys, or, you know, like, Joey Logano, Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski's still leading this race. Kyle Busch is up there, and I'm pretty sure in second. Good news, though, chat, is that our pace isn't really quite falling off, so that's actually really good. And I'm very much okay to be up here in the, uh, well, that was a bad corner, to be up here in the uh, upper top ten. Especially after the uh, couple races that we had. What? What's up, TA? How you doing today? You're welcome for what? What's going on here? Oh, let's see. Mm, you got me. Yep, you got me here. That surprised me. Nah. You sucky ducky. But yeah, what's up, TA? How you doing today, my guy? Welcome to the stream. It feels like I haven't been on in forever. I have. I've just been honestly doing the Pro League stuff. Which, by the way, I'm 8th right now in A rank. 8th on the PS4 ladder, bo ladder board. What? Good talk. Uh, rank uh, 8 on uh, the PS4 leaderboard. Every day, you probably tell yourself, damn, I'm glad he's not one of my students. Uh, debatable? Because at least you like NASCAR. No one in my class likes NASCAR. They don't even know what NASCAR is. And the people that do, they're just like, ugh. So believe me, it's not that bad. Oh, oh boy. A little loose going into the corner there. That's the thing, like, I love tight setups originally, but it gets loose in a hurry. 
The people that do don't exist. Well, yeah, exactly. Or, yeah, I, I can't, because I can't find them either. For all I know, they're probably, like, down south. They're probably at Daytona right now. So, like, real, literally, it's just been kind of like, uh, oh, man, uh, like, when I, I, because I said this before, when I, uh, get an actual, like, job, not like I'm, like, not like, te like, student teaching or anything, like, and I get an actual, like, teaching job, I'm gonna have my desk lined with die casts, and I'm expecting people to be like, ooh, what's that? Not knowing what NASCAR is, and I'm gonna be like, are you kidding me? To be fair, I mean... Today's kids are growing up with uh, baseball and football. I mean, so like, that's nothing new. Football is so culturally, uh, culturally in ingrained in uh, society that it's not even a uh, it's not even a question on uh, who's your favorite driver. It's more along the lines of like, what's NASCAR? As someone who lives in the South, it's not as common as you think, really. What's up, Nina? How are you doing today? Long time no see, my guy. Well, well, well. I know, right? It feels like I haven't been on forever. Really, really, I was on on Thursday. It was just to do Pro League stuff. I just literally have not done any single player stuff in like three days. And that's like three months for me. Oh, yeah. Did you like, did you like, like cutback chat? Oh, yeah, that, that felt good. That felt good. Swap into the inside like that. Mm. All right, Joey. Pretty good. Just made lemon pepper wings. Ooh. Homemade from like an air fryer. Careful, still there. Or are we talking oven roasted? Oh, hello, Cody. Where? How are you doing today? Most people don't really care, and the ones that uh, do. Bottom clear. Ninety-five percent of those uh, I've met fit into negative stereotypes. Ooh, that's an oof right there. Super good, homemade. Mm. God, I've already ate. I've already eaten today, chat. But you're making me hungry. Lemon pepper wings. Oh man, I don't know. Like, if we can just, I'm just gonna uh, digress for a hot second. My favorite flavor of wing has to be lemon lime. Oh my god, lemon lime wings. Still there. Though piping hot there. lemon lime wings, fresh from the oven. Oh my god, set me up, knock me down, turn me all around. <laughs> and then for uh oh and you have mint chip waiting oh man well okay okay well let me uh let me uh counter that with uh i have some oreo um co well i should say cookies and cream but let's be honest it's oreo um cookies and cr uh cream ice cream in uh my freezer right now and that's calling my name after the stream You getting really uh, hungry now too, Chad? Have you guys eaten tonight? Yeah, because I know for some it's uh, still like it's still like eight to seven. Well, it looks like I'm eating Oreos. Man, damn this product placement. Oh dang, dang rookie, you're doing so good down here. Look at you going 34th. FYI, don't eat uh, a lot just when need to. Oh, okay, I get you. I get you. Hey, that's your prerogative, man. You only live once. Stay low, stay low. All right, clear 
you're outside. Oh yeah. That was not really a smooth corner, but it kind of felt good. You're eating a two piece of pizza and a slim fast. What kind of pizza? Okay. That's gonna be the redeeming quality here. What kind of pizza are we talking about here? So chat, I know you can't see me right now. I'm only this disembodied voice attached to this uh, Schleuder uh, Systems uh, hood that you're looking at right now. But I am a connoisseur of food, if you say. A master, master of masters. The menagerie that is the delicate cuisine, AKA fat ass. Um, so, uh, I asked the important questions, is what I'm getting at. Uh, garlic parmesan on double cheese? Mm. There you go. No meat, no veggies? No, just that cheese. Okay. I get you. I get you. Well, dang. Dang, what did I have tonight? I had chili. That's what I had. A big bowl of chili. It's snowing where I'm at right now, and I'm just like, you know, what sounds good? Chili. Stay high. Stay high. Uh, that's not a good turn. Kind of cut back down low like Still that. There. Hello, Ryan Newman. How are you? Nina, now you want to order pepperoni? There you go. If you get it from Domino's, you can get that uh, with pizza insurance. And engine oil. Ooh. Let's not. Let's not say we did. That's a hard pass for me, Captain. You gotta keep your engine working for an H4. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Chat, how are you guys doing on uh, the Pro League qualifiers? Are you even doing them? That's my question. Because, Tia, I know you were thinking about it. Because on the topic of NH4 and keeping your engine working, All right, you're clear. I want to know how you guys are doing, if you guys are even doing it. All right, you're clear. Yo, the Sack Maniac, welcome to the stream, man. Long time no see, my guy. Oh, you're doing the PC Pro League? Or no PC Pro League? No, you have school stuff? Well, I mean, so do I. I mean, both, both schools. I mean, like, university and my high school. But I gotta make time. Priorities, right? I just slammed my controller down, but you guys can't, you can't see that. Well, well, I picked the wrong lane, obviously. Stay on the bottom. Sure, I'll take the apron. Why not? Oh, there is no PC League. Oh! I thought there was. Well, then my question then uh, is, would you do it if you uh, had an Xbox or uh, PS4? And Adobe After Effects can go straight to holy hell. Well, I mean, what are you working on right now, my guy? Is it, uh, you have to do something for your radio, or...? Hello. Oof. See, if you don't mind me asking, uh, I think I asked this before, but I honestly forget. Uh, how close are you to graduating? If you don't mind me asking, of course. Maybe December? Okay. Dang, you're really close then. I also have a project to do for your audio. Damn. Because in my program right now, 
Because, Chad, I, I think I said this. Uh, I graduate in, uh, well, technically June, but, like, I can walk in May. Um, but with my master's, and people are already looking at resumes, their jobs, and I'm just like, I just want to pass my classes, first and foremost. That's step one for me. That Step two is, okay, let's get... Uh, let's get the job uh, search nailed down. Because the thing is, for schools, most uh, jobs don't open up until at least the summer. When teachers retire or they just don't come back, yeah. Oh yeah, that exists. Oh, what, jobs? Oh, resumes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, luckily, my program also uh, did a, uh, a big thing on resumes. I mean, so, like, I just need to literally just update my resume, but, like, it's not on the top of my to-do list right now. It's, like, at least number five. At least, you know, maybe, maybe number six. But mostly number five. All right, so question is, uh, Chad, how am I going to get around Kurt Busch? Because he's, like, going, like, the same lap times as me. I need to update mine so hard. Same. I mean, I, I really do as well. I mean, oh, a little bit a little bit of tappy-tap, but uh, nothing really going on. Yeah. Dang, Chad, we still have another 40 laps to go? Ugh. This run is taking so long. Still there. You can go forever on fuel. And God, Blaney dropped like a stone. He qualified right up there with me. And all of a sudden, down, he's down here in 28th? What is this? Minecraft? All clear. Break early into three, throttle early and get under him. That's what I'm trying to do. Well, like, I want to be ideally on the top side, but like, yeah. I guess I'll just have to go low, honestly. The thing is, my tires are also wearing, like, an absolute mofo right now. But it also doesn't help that we're also constantly, like, side-by-side -side with, lap with lappers, so... Bottom looks good. Hello, Daniel Hemrick. Soon to be Tyler Reddick. Still there. All clear. How far am I from Joey? Ooh, only? Only a second and a half? Dang. Brad Keselowski is actually putting a whooping on the field right now. You know, in some... In some cultures... They call him... Daddy Braddy, but, uh... Not in my cult. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Chad, I'm so sorry. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, uh, I was just thinking of, like, putting a whooping on the field. I'm just like, oh, man, like, that is just... I, I have no idea where my, my, my mind was going there. Uh, you can't see me right now, but I'm blushing, like, so hard. Like... <laughs> Uh, mm, quality content that I bring from me to you. You know when your uh, when your face like totally flushes of color, your nerves are acting up. That was me right there. I'm just like, mm, this joke is either gonna go really good or really bad. I'm willing to take that bet. High quality, <laughs> top notch. Can't go anywhere else for this level of content. Car high. Sure, I'll take the apron, why not? There's no consequence for the apron. God, the inside sucks. Careful, still there. All 
My face never has a uh, man. All right, you're clear. Never has the color of a Norwegian and a Sc and Scottish probably. Oh, I totally misread that. My face never had <laughs> God quality content. No, um, top notch streamer. Can't even read messages properly. Never has... Okay, your family is Norwegian and Scottish, and your face never has that. I get you, I get you. And those are... Correct me if I'm wrong, very rosy-cheeked, right? Or are they very white? Because I know Swedish is very white, like, as in, like, pale. Hello, Wall. How are you? White AF. Okay. Well, the thing is, as well, chat, I'm very Irish, and I, I, I know you guys uh, do not uh, know what I look like, but I, I have, like, reddish-brown hair. But the thing is, when I was a child, it was, like, red. It was, like, almost ginger level. Not, not quite, I'm over-exaggerating, but still. Um, and I do not tan well at all. So you can clearly tell that I am very Irish and definitely maybe a little Scottish because, like, I am... Well, before I started working out outside for a living, um, that was, like, my first job, was uh, working at a car dealership, so I was constantly outside. Uh, my, um, like, my entire body was just, like, almost albino, uh, almost albino white. Again, an over-exaggeration, but you get what I'm saying, though. Do I force a three wide here? Dumb question, I always force a three wide. Come on, Joey Gase, work with me here. Ah, damn it. Still there. Well, that's how we get around Kurt. Clear. Step one. Got one inside. Oh, that was inside. bad turn three there. Clear low. Wait, hang on. Hang on, Nina. I, I saw you said something. Give me one hot second here. Whoa, inside. loose, loose, loose. Right, clear low. Sound exactly like this dude named uh, Mike from Cali. The L, uh, Bottom three. Use it if you need it. Where's that from? Like, is that like a TV character or what? Same voice. I'm unfamiliar with the guy. Still there. Got one inside. You got room. You're clear. Oh, hello. That. Turn two wall is like my best friend right now. I frequent that establishment a lot. Inside. All right, you're clear. Inside. All clear. My grandma's uh, family has some Scottish. I'm pretty sure your uh, your papa's uh, family is Norwegian. Ah, I get you. I get you. Yeah, um, supposedly, by my family tree, I am a... I'm Irish. Very. Very, very Irish. Um, British. Oh, hello. Well, I pick, obviously picked the wrong lane. Um, British, Italian, German. I'm, like, all, like... I'm like all of like the actual main European countries. Mike is a friend of mine from Pacific Beach. Well, dang. Glad I could remind you of a friend. Because that's what we are. We're friends. Okay, let's start getting... Getting good. Still there. 
because my tires are wearing and it is so slippery right now. Hey, high up here. Oh, I got one inside. But I'll have to throw it away too early there. Who's in third right now? Kevin Harvick, eight Still seconds there. up the road. Good talk. So that means, of course, my two other championship rivals, Brad and Kyle, Kyle Busch, uh, are uh, first and second right now. Of course they are. Load's clear. Got a car low now. Ah. Still there. Okay, so there needs to be like a caution, like eventually. Still there. Because we have just been trucking along for 70, 70 laps. Stay high, stay high. Oh, my bad, my bad, Bowman. He didn't deserve it. He kind of did a little bit. No, I'm kidding. After seeing uh, this dude, uh, Batman collection. Still there. Hello. The I've been watching the original show. Dang. Wait, by original, are you talking like the 1960s or? Uh, right, you're clear. Are we talking like the animated stuff? Because when I think original show, I think of like all the way back in the 60s. Parker Kligerman. Oh yeah, it was Kentucky. That's what it was. God, Kentucky right, sucked. Sorry. Um, when I started the stream, I said I could not remember the last uh, race we were at. It was Kentucky. Duh. You knew Adam West and uh, and Adam West's daughter. Ooh. Okay, so the '66 version. I get you. I'm following loud and clear. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. The Penguin was epic. I honestly wish I watched more of uh, the original stuff like that. Because I know of it, I just honestly can't say I remember things about it. I just know that. I also know that the Joker, um, in that in that series, definitely was honestly a little more iconic because of because he was like originally just like a gangster. Careful, still there. A little bit sideways, hello. How do you do? Adam West. He gave her a uh, toy uh, Batman belt for her son. Aw, that was nice. That was very kind. Well, chat, I have... Well, hang on. Burt Ward, uh... All the way to the wall. Who played Robin. Made the dog food. I give Butch, really? Today I learned, I guess. The show's on every Sunday. What channel?
Yeah, like seriously, man. I, I second that. How much uh, Batman stuff do you have? Because it sounds like he's your absolute favorite uh, superhero. What's up, David? How are you doing today? Feels like long time no see. Come on, come on in. The water's fine. We're talking about uh, Batman. Oh no, don't worry about it, man. I haven't been around either. Well, technically I have, but like, not like streaming like single player stuff. Did you like that move, chat? That was uh, my signature. Let's just stop turning. The car in front of you is coming to the pit. Oh, they, okay, they're pitting. Oh, okay, I guess. How about this? When Brad Keselowski pits, I'm gonna pit. Just getting ready to watch the Arca race? Oh boy. Well, oh. because I watch it live. It's uh, it's good. It's good. Superman is your favorite. Ah! Alright, coming in this time. Drop your speed, driver. Oh, let's see here. DC over Marvel, any century? Ooh, those are fighting words for some. Uh, some dude trade... Oh, yeah, I should probably actually uh, do this. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ah, just a tick tighter. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Hello, Martin Truex Jr., how are you? He's watching XFL? Yeah, how is that, by the way? Our first game was better? Hmm. Because, like, I, I, like I said, Chad, you guys know I'm not a football guy by any means. But, like, I heard that the XFL was very eh. And I want to know, like, real thoughts. Clear out, hammer down. Here's Kurt. Does he need a pit? Outside, outside. Inside. I don't think the quality of play was better in the second game. So what? Okay, what exactly is the XFL? Is there like any difference between that and the NFL, or is it literally just named differently? Oh man, hello. Next fellow is just another football league. Still there. Too many missed receivers, uh, receivers slipping from my liking the first game. So do you see do you guys see any real potential in it? It's owned by Vince McMahon? Like as in like the Vince McMahon? Like, football, Vince McMahon. Yeah, okay. I would, what? So he, so, back from the, back from the grave. Because I know he tried it once before. Dang. So do you think it's just going to be a passing fad? Or do you think it's, uh... Some someone blew an engine because Austin Dillon just gained a position. Blew an engine, popped a tire, one of the two. Stay low. Oh yeah, I rem I remember hearing about uh, the it originally, but I didn't know it was a. Uh... Dang. That sponsors and TV deals this time. Ooh, okay. Well, let's just see how it goes. 
any ma- Uh, like, okay, so like... So you're saying that the quality of play was worse. Now, is this because, like, these are like... Like, you know, during the NFL draft, are these like the draft dropouts, or like what? Back when they had nicknames uh, on the back of jerseys, now real names, boo -hoo. Every game will either be on Fox or uh, ABC. Mm, really? And is this supposed to go through um, to actual NFL season or what? Me tightening this up, actually, I don't agree with it. This go around pretty much, uh, pretty much the guys who couldn't make the NFL or is, or aspiring to the NFL. Okay, I see. So they are dropouts or wannabes. XFL champ Abel 26. Dang, that's short of a season? It's only four months? Well, okay, so I guess, I guess it's like regular uh, NFL then, right? How many teams are in it, by the way? Ten weeks. Okay, see, so yeah, okay, I was right. Careful, still there. All clear. So decrease roster for. Uh, and a decreased amount of uh, weeks. Okay, eight teams. Hill, only eight? Really? That's like nothing. Got one inside. So like that dive bomb move, I called out the online express. All clear. Both teams drew about uh, 17k in attendance, which is pretty good for their first games. Well, I can imagine that it is. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I can see they'd be pretty good because are these like uh, are these like cities that don't really have an NFL team, or are they just like just whatever could get money? I was about to say, because if there's a city that can get in on this, most of our NFL cities, okay, well, never mind then. Because I was thinking that, like, if they were uh, non-NFL cities, that uh, that would draw in attendance, you know, the local height, you know? In fact, all but St. Louis have an NFL team? Oh, really? I don't get it, then. Big car ahead of you, city. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, what was that? Good old BJ McLeod? No caution for that. Okay. We're counting down the days until the 500. What are you talking about? NASCAR season's already here. With the clash tomorrow. I, I count the clash as the start of NASCAR season. Honestly, I should count the arc up. Well, since it's technically here. Thank you, by the way, thank you for the bit. Come on, Eric Jones, let's go. Oh my god. Hold that line, driver. All the way to the wall. David, tell your uh, Penske guy back here to calm down. Also, tell your Penske guy up front who's leading the dang race to calm down. Stay high up here. Car there on the inside. I'm talking about XFL and how awesome it is. Um, stay high. Stay high. I was just questioning what it was. Bottom three. But yeah, if you uh, do, you think it's awesome, Zero? No, I didn't actually. I just know he hit the fence, but I didn't see uh, him uh, actually hitting the fence.
Really? See, I don't have any. I thought they would have already had an um, NHL team. Uh, you, liked, uh, you liked what you saw in the XFL? All the changes are a great idea. There's a fan video of him. Oh my god. Link it to me. Message me on Twitter or whisper it to me. Really? Yeah, Chad, don't even bother explaining what the rules are for me, because I wouldn't understand what even the NFL rules are for it, so... It's just better like that. It's not all that, but it's a, uh... It's a good distractor. Now, here's a question. How long until, uh, Fox focuses more on the, uh, XFL NASCAR? <laughs> That's going to ruffle TA up right there. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, I dared. Except I has one foot uh, catch uh, college roll. I don't, exactly. I don't even know what that is. All clear. In the words of my parents, you'd be better off talking to the wall. You'll give, you'll get a better conversation than uh, I will. I mean, does NASCAR go anywhere else? I mean, it could go back to like ESPN, ESPN, ABC, CBS. It could just go to NBC full time. I'd be okay with that. Because NBC loves NASCAR. Except car. Oh my god. Careful, still there. Kind of gas it up right there. Oh my god, we are 15 seconds ahead of Clint Boyer. Extremely fast car. Oh my god. New title sponsor, the XFL for NASCAR. Steel wheels. Dang. At that point, where it's just a demolition derby. Falls turns. Oh my god. Now we're just going to fan fiction territory. No one likes going to fan fiction territory. Do I dare for the three wide? Yes. Still there. Hold your line. Got one outside. Alright, clear outside. This sounds like a win as long as NASCAR, NASCAR finds a home, so, uh, finds somewhere else other than uh, other than Fox. Well, well, like I said, Fox uh, didn't show the pace car taking out three. Oh well, hang on, David, you're gonna find a very special surprise that Fox is not gonna show you in the ARCA race, so I won't even say it. Oh my God, David with another tier one sub, gifted to zero. Welcome back to the sub club, Zero. And David, thank you so much, my guy. It looks like with that, you gifted rewards to five others in chat. Oh, you can spoil it. You're going to watch it uh, anyways. Oh, no, it, it's what doesn't show. Apparently, the pace car takes out three cars. You already know who finished the second? Oh my god. Well, they're gonna make a big deal out of that, so... 
How many times do you want to bet they're going to talk about it tomorrow? How many times? But yeah, the pace car takes out three cars. They also apparently screwed up with the wrong clip of Dale Jarrett. Winning the Daytona 500. Yeah, I, I, I remember that. I actually saw that on NASCAR Reddit. Seven. Before Green. Oh, you can I can guarantee you it's already in the highlight reel. When did the pace car take out uh, three cars? Uh, during the red flag on lap 40. Apparently when it stopped, it stopped so suddenly that there's three cars that uh, didn't get woed up. It's on Gustine's Twitter. A plus for Brian in practice today. What was that? Was that literally like lap one or what, what was happening there? I think Haley Deegan is, uh, is the female ambassador this sport needs. I definitely think so. All right, what am I going to do here? Oh, I guess I'm just going to follow Kurt. He seems to know what's going on. Careful, still there. But I don't want them to run into the ground. I think they already are, my dude. Stay low. Natalie Decker had her chance. All right, you're clear. Oh, which, by the way, oh, I got a little too ambitious there. I agree. I'm pulling for a big time. Personally, I just want to see results. Stay low. Stay low. Yes, thank you. I saw that. I saw the notification. Oh, okay. Oh, Byron. Still there. All right. Well, can't get anything done on the bottom. So let's go high. Highlight clear. Inside. Careful. Still there. Leave a lane. Coming through. Whoop, hello. Don't move, stay high. Got one down low now. Still there. All clear. Alright, let's see here. They did in the 60s. You know what they uh, should do for NASCAR? Uh, is a lot of racers swap cars if something stay bad high. happened to uh, their primary? Well, they did in the 60s, and they did for Formula E. Like, Formula E, like, uh, like literally, they had two cars that they had to swap out with because battery was so low. Uh, everyone, everyone in chat, may God bless. And I'll have a proper new decade. Yeah, thank you, Nina. You too. I don't know how I feel about that corner. Did I see the Intuit uh, TurboTax uh, commercial? Still there. Mm. Oh, the knee dancing? Oh, yeah, I saw that. It was catchy, I'll say that. Which, by the way, chat, we're also gaining on the leader. Looks like they're getting caught in some heavy, heavy-duty traffic. Careful, still there. That's exactly what we need. Chat, okay. I don't know if we've ever talked about it. What's your favorite Super Bowl commercial? By the way, Daniel, welcome to the stream, my dude. I don't think I greeted you. Welcome back. I think how Brad Daddy was trying to uh, avoid a car that was slowing down. Careful, still there. Punk, puppy, monkey, baby. Oh my god. That's what, actually what a colleague of mine uh, brought up is, uh, you know, we, that is not gonna, uh, the TurboTax uh, commercial is not gonna beat the original puppy, monkey, baby. I don't know. That I really like the uh, Google commercial. The one this year, I thought that was super sweet. Like, oh my god! High lane clear. 
Nothing will be pump puppy monkey baby. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I love the Google commercial. Uh, I also love the one with Charlie, the ones, plural, with Charlie Day, because I loved him in, uh, in, uh, Always Sunny. I mean, I know he's still on there, but... Hold your line. Stay high. Could be cloned? Oh, my God. David, thank you so much. Uh, two more gifted subs. Let's see who we got here. A little loose on entry. We got the Sack Maniac and Epic. Welcome to the sub club, guys. And David, thank you for, seriously, how many is that now? Total of 42 gifted subs. Seriously, my dude. Thank you, my guy. And thank you, Daniel. Okay, so what's going on here? Are we like getting nowhere, nowhere near? Okay, so like just people are just, what is this, Dover, Martinsville? What's going on out here? They just can't get around each other. Did something bad happen to someone who, uh, who was number 42? Still there. Uh, you mean Kyle Larson? Or Ross, uh, that lost his ride last year? I assume you've been, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I saw that. Still there. Clear high, bud. Chat, and I, by the way, for any, uh, of the new gifted subs, I have a new, um, emote. It's uh, Joey Logano uh, in the tank. In tank form, I should say, with Won the War over a top of a Crush Martin X Jr. That is still pending, but it is in the works. Ross can maybe drive the 48 car. I think he's going to be driving uh, for Ganassi before that. Considering that there is... He's driving... He's going to be driving the 77 car, which is literally a Ganassi gifted car for the 500. There's obviously still ties. Every April 15th, every player on the team wears a number for him. Aww. For Jackie Robinson. Oh, man. Can ask the R&D, probably. Basically, just run a uh, third Ganassi car, yeah. Alright, so what are we gonna do here? Because we got like half the damn field right up here. Something's gotta give. Uh, I think it's given already. Yeah, that's number 77 right now. Wait, are we four wide right now? Oh, well, we were. All right, looks like it's starting to break up, chat. At least I hope so. Because this, this should not happen at New Hampshire. Screw it, I'll just go around the outside. Careful, still there. Are we still in fifth? How are we still in fifth? I don't even know. Careful, still there. Is this the first race? Still there. This is the only race. This, this race is going to take us like three hours, my guy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Damn. Oh, oh, well. It happens. Stay high. Stay high. Hmm. It's a double header? No, it actually is not. I mean, I can... Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna go... Stay low. 
So aggravating. Got a car high now. Clear all around. Got one inside. You're all clear on the bottom. Um, but yeah, this was gonna be uh, planned to uh, be the only uh, race tonight. However, I can do like online stuff if you guys want to end the stream. Because this race is literally going to take like three hours. <laughs> Spinola. The thing is, chat, I swear to God, I have strict yellow on. Currently, we are still caution free. This race is just trucking along. Where is the Dr. Pepper race at? Oh no, uh, okay, so I, I don't think NASCAR is in the stream. NASCAR, are you in the stream? You in chat? Because that currently is on hold. I have no idea why. TA, do you know any, do you have any additional information? All clear. Dang. I just know that it's currently on like a little bit of a hiatus right now. Believe me, we'd be racing at Kentucky. And I would be doing it right after this. Actually, it would be going on right now. I would have done this like earlier th today. God, I hate the bottom here. All clear. Dang, I'm gone for a week and I miss everything. Well, the thing is, like, I don't really know what's going on with the uh, league right now. Currently, it's just kind of in hiatus. Yeah, we didn't do anything last week either. But that's why you got good old Uncle Private Patton to keep you guys entertained. Quality content, quality races, quality commentary. Mm, top notch. Oh, hello. But yeah. <laughs> Uncle Pirate Patton. Sergeant Major Captain. Lieutenant? Is there I see Lieutenant in there? Nope. D dang, not even Lieutenant. Not even going through the proper chain of command. Shame on you. How are we looking? How do we gain five seconds on Eric Jones? And Joey Logano. Still there. Is that Nyquil? Careful, still there. Hello. We're just using a Brennan gone, being like, hey, get out of the way, old man. Careful, still there. All right, you're clear. Got a car low now. Bottom is clear. No, I, I highly, highly doubt that Brennan Gone was sponsored by NyQuil there. It just looked like NyQuil. Captain Pierce. Captain Price! Major Charles Emerson Winchester the third. God, that sounds like a supernatural character. Farther on the inside. All 
Should we make improvements uh, to the uh, to the zero uh, uh, to the Camaro? Still there. Yeah, that's what Jimmy Johnson I heard was saying that the improvements are good. It's just literally uh, not good for super speedways. <laughs> oh, he's a mash character. Oh, uh huh. Careful, still there. God, I hate worn tires. Clear high, bud. Giant ass spoilers. The spoiler is something fierce on the cup cars. Well, just wait until uh, next year. And the short track and road course uh, um, spoiler, where it's like back to the old ways. God, I remember. I remember that race. <laughs> the Daytona oh, race. Giant ass spoilers. Hey, just because he's junior, he didn't get called out for it. Careful, still there. All right, Matt DeBandetto, calm down. Careful, still there. All right, you're clear. Inside. Some dude on Reddit had a hissy fit about it. Oh my god. When doesn't Reddit have a hissy fit? Saying it was unprofessional, saying I'm like, this is what's good. I mean, it just shows the personality, you know? I mean, sometimes you have people that just overthink it. It really was not that big of a deal. I thought it was funny, honestly. Way back when, in the olden days, in the dark times before the Empire. Oh, as you know, well, actually, no, you guys don't know. Chat, I am, I swear up and down like a sailor, but you'll never hear me say it on stream. Sometimes I slip. I, sometimes I slip, but I, most of the time I go be like, ah, frick, especially when I'm going to be teaching high schoolers. I never even caught it live. Ass is a normal word. Yeah, exactly. It's like saying damn, you know? Like, I, I consider that natural, so I use damn all day, every day. I want to hear you cuss, like, a lot. What's not? Not on stream. I'll say that. Oh, my God. Finally. And look at that. Now there's seven about to be eight people on the lead lap quality cup racing see a cuss word frick um so yeah i guess we're uh pitting um i feel like i need to bump this up bump this to 31 and i'll bring this up three rounds as well Pretty sure that was four, but whatever. Who cares? New reward for 100k laps led. Oh. Two out of three Penske boys on the lead lap. And then Ryan Blaney's like in 30th. Yeehaw. That really yees my ha. Alright, let's go. Gotta call high now. Got one inside. Clear down low. Car out 
Ooh, that's that was smooth right there. Brad's leading. Yeah. No, well, the thing is, chat, how this game is, I don't know if it's just a actual thing or not. The person that leads the most laps, statistically, does not win the race in this game. Oh, yep, oh, Ryan Blaney's out. <laughs> so while Joey Logano, Brad Keselowski are uh, one of the eight people on the lead lap, Ryan Blaney's out of this race, so... Uh, mm. Like, watch, I can almost guarantee that one of the Bush brothers or Harvick is going to win this race. I can almost guarantee that I'm not going to. Damn it, Planey, get back to the booth. Yeah, I thought that was cool uh, that Blaney was actually in the booth for the Arca race for a little bit. The thing is, most of it was under caution, so he didn't really get to commentate a lot. He just got to talk about how um, how the air distribution on uh, on the draft, and that was really about it. Dude, I hate Phil Parsons is uh, commentating for Arca. They took him away from trucks. I hated that decision. Literally, Phil Parsons in a truck series are are, uh, right, you're clear. are synonymous. Ooh, tight. Okay, here's the thing. Speaking into the chat because I feel like you're just going in a rant mode. Oh, well, here we go. But call the first wreck of the Arca race was the worst call I've ever heard. Oh, hello. Well, the thing is, it just wasn't very inspired. The thing is, like, you can tell that he's there for the paycheck and not really like it because you know that was I, I forget the dude's name but you know it was a guy that did uh nhra like all last year uh, i'm just so tight in the early uh beginning part of the run oh man i saw someone renewed that what's up cozy Inside. Renewed uh, for pick a track. Okay. Hello. What's up, Eric Jones? How are you? All clear. Car down the inside. Giant ass spoilers. Just wait until they get to uh, less than uh, halfway to go. Hold your line. Stay high. I'm not worried about Boyer passing me here. He's a lap down. Ass spoilers, giant. Careful, still there. Hmm. Fun fact, P Patton doesn't realize we're over halfway. Oh my god! You right. Question of the day, chat. Question of the day. Did you enjoy... Okay, really. Um... Uh, it's going to be a two questions because one's going to be counted for free. Uh, for for anyone that ha did watch the Arca race or is currently watching the Arca race, uh, how did you like it? That is the first question. So let's start with that. Not much. Waiting for your video to go up. 
Which one? Still there. Oh, did you already, uh... Did you already, uh... Put the, uh, Coca-Cola Cup Series in? Dang, dude. You're fast. Um... Personally, I thought it was just meh. It was very meh. I don't know why I looked to my right there. There's no one there. It's just instinctual. I'm just like, oh yeah, look at this wall. Mm, that's a nice looking wall. It would be a shame if someone hit it. Yeah, dang, you work fast. That literally just happened. Am I, am I making fun of Brad? No. I was actually making fun of me. Believe it or not, I know you won't believe me. I was actually making fun of me based on the amount of times that I've been hitting the wall all the two. But I can make fun of Brad if you want me to. I mean, because I'm seeing a golden opportunity that I didn't see before. Because, yeah, that is actually pretty good. It would be a shame if... And during practice, someone just went in like that. Oh no, now my car is destroyed. Oh, bummer, dude. Once you have to uh, literally give away a round of eight spot to chase Elliot, in order to make fun of Brad. I hope you get a flat. Well, I hope you get a life. A lovely, fulfilling life. I know you already are, but yeah. Because I wish the, um, the best for you, Muffin. Careful, still there. That's too real. <laughs> I mean, Brad had that. Okay, chat, I don't mean to be making fun of, uh, making fun of Brad here, like, honestly, but, like, let's be honest here. Brad Keselowski gave Chase a round of eight spot, to which Chase just like, nah, I'm, I'm good. DNF, DNF, DNF. Oh, good talk. Hey, I made fun of my favorite driver as well. We're good. We're even. <laughs> Inside, you got room. You're clear. Martin Truex Jr. stop. Well, he hit a fence. Well, yeah, but I'm talking about. Because, see, uh, David here oh, is a there. massive uh, Penske fan. And we're just making fun of him. We're just making fun of him. They make fun of me for being a Chase fan. I'll make fun of him for being a Penske fan. Hold your line. Yo, it's you welcome back, Snake Doctor. How are you doing today? Welcome to the race. Dave was just like, unfollow, unsubbed, take all my gift subs back. Careful, still there. Penske was at two championships. Yeah, you're right. I, I got nothing there. there. Chase has an Xfinity title. He came close to going two in a row, but he lost out to James Busher. Of course he did. Or was it Chris Busher? It was a Busher, I know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, David here is a massive fan of Penske. Hi. 
really loose. Holy God, that was bad. Legit, Brad Kozlo is used to be one of my favorite. Oh boy, here we go. One of my favorite drivers, and they changed the paint scheme and just kind of lost it. Because you stopped looking for him. On track, uh, you still care, but I stopped looking, so it kind of drifted away. Ah. You just became uh, so attached. Yeah, that was going to be my question. Because, um, like, I know that you overall like Penske. But, like, obviously I know Joey's your favorite. And then, then comes Brad, then comes Blaney. Or is it Blaney and then Brad? Because I knew Joey was your favorite. And obviously, Chad, you know who my favorite is. TA, I know your favorite is uh, Jeff Gordon. Joey Brad Blaney. Okay, I, I was pretty sure. I was, I was, that's why I said that first, because I was thinking it was Joey Brad Blaney, but like, I didn't know if uh, Blaney giving up uh, spots of chase knocked him down a bit. Got one inside. <laughs> All clear. Didn't dislike him uh, because of the paint schemes. I still don't dislike him. I think Brad Kozlowski. Let me read the rest of that here. Is one of the most awesome uh, guys in NASCAR. I just hate the paint scheme so much. I forgot to pull from. They are Penske is very safe with their pens uh, with their paint schemes, except for Brad with with his ugly sweater paint scheme. Like Joey Joey Logano, like has had some. I'm gonna be honest here. The most uninspired paint schemes I have ever seen. Um, let's see here. You know who my favorite? Ah, uh, hang on, you're testing me here. Cozy, I'm sorry. I know you told me. I forget who it is. Remind me. Tell me again. I won't forget it. Hello. Jimmy? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I remember now. I remember. Looking inside now. All right, you're clear. Good old Jimmy Jam. All right. Locked and loaded in the memory banks. Not forgetting. Got one inside. No, get away. Jurex. Inside. It didn't like the 2013 paint scheme or the white deuce. I don't know. I, I just think that like Joey Logano's paint scheme literally has not. Oh, hello. Ooh, almost put me into the Walter X. Uh, like literally has not changed in so long that it's just become very blah. You know. Like it needs an update. Go low. Still there. God, the low side sucks. They changed the paint scheme and now it looks even more like a high school and made it. I Loki kind of like the uh, the one that had like the military not military camo, but just it was camo. Wait, what uh, paint scheme needs an update? I'm talking the uh, Joe Logano's uh, Pennzoil. All right, you're clear. Got one down scheme. Low now. His main oh, scheme, you know? Not the Pennzoil, the shell. Inside. All right, you're clear. Yeah, I'm making you stop right in your tracks, Denny Hamlin. You need a paint scheme update too. Robocop was a 2020 paint scheme. Well, he does. He's getting a new Skittles one. His M his base M and M's, you know, the yellow, uh, the one with all the uh, M and M's on it, is like it's eh. I like the ones he did last year, like the hazelnut. Still there. 
Why does Miller Lite uh, sponsor one race this season? Because they want to cut back on NASCAR. They don't want to be uh, all in like they were. Ooh, I like that one, but it's been on there. Uh... It's been on there for almost a decade. I think it's cool. I mean, Jimmy John. You mean, okay, Jimmy Johnson's ally paint scheme. Okay. Still there. Careful, still there. What about the interstate batteries car? Oh, hello, Danny. Jesus. Inside. Came in like a wrecking ball. Jesus. Ooh, scared me. Still there. Uh, the interstate batteries? Well, they just got an update. Like, uh, they showed the uh, picture of it on Twitter. So, I don't think... It looks good. Like, it is... looks very, very good. I like it, at least. Yeah, they... Yeah, they pulled sponsorship. But... With one uh, sponsor pulling, uh, Barstool Sports is actually uh, coming in. So, hey, win Still some, you lose some. Careful. Still there. Clear down low. Oh, uh, David, you still here? On the back, okay. Wait, what? Wait, what are you talking about? The bar stool? Do they have a Bible verse? Ugh. I'd say bar stool's main demographic is college frat boys. I don't think they care about the Bible. At least, not to my knowledge. Yeah, what Bible verse? For what scheme? Oh, well, that wasn't my plan on doing that, but okay, I guess I'm rolling with it. And that's how we got sixth place. <laughs> Three wide in the middle. Bombs all clear. Take it if you want to. Use it if you need to. That's what it is. Which, yes, I'm going to. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what that's what I'm talking about. The Bible verse on what paint scheme? Because I think I remember there was one scheme last year that had a bio verse on it, but I couldn't. Yo! Whoa! Batman, welcome! Long time no see! Oh, on the interstate batteries car! Oh! I must have missed that. I'll have to look on the back then. I'll have to watch the uh, Twitter video again. Yeah, Batman, long time no see. Dang. How long has it been, my dude? No, 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 no. Well, the thing is, uh, it was just funny that, like, at the very beginning of the stream, we uh, were talking about Batman. And now, hey, he showed up. With life and stuff? Oh, no, I, I, I totally get you, my dude. I'm just glad you're here. Dang. Ooh, Ryan Priest. Calm down there, bud. Nah, I'm just kidding. It was actually me that was ooh, really loose there. High lane to clear.
But no, I totally get you. Getting, being busy with life and stuff? Yeah, definitely, man. Glad you're here, though. Dang. We're just talking about the pain schemes and, uh... Um... All the other fun stuff that, uh... Is coming out of, uh... Hibernation for the, uh... New season. I don't know. Not to sound like a Chase fanboy, but, like, oh my god, I really do like his, uh... Mountain Dew Zero Sugar scheme for the uh, for the Clash. I also like his his uh, Kelly Blue Book scheme. Oh my God! More emphasis on the gold. Yes, please. Yeah, who's to say you're not Adam West? Well, he's no longer with us. Yeah, Christian Bale or Ben Affleck. Or who's the new one now? Uh, the guy that played uh, Edward on uh, Twilight. Robert Pattinson. There you go. Careful, still there. All clear. Oh, oh, that was bad. Inside. All right, you're clear. Oh, I did a percent. We're good. Just wait on the throttle way too early. Chat, I'm going to be honest here. I know he was on Family Guy. I just could not get into it. Like, the thing is, Family Guy is my kind of humor. I just, for some reason, just never got into it. And Cozy, his, um, his Kelly Blue Book uh, scheme, essentially... Instead of uh, being gold in the front, it was blue last year. Essentially, they swapped the colors. So what was blue is now gold, and what was now uh, gold is, was blue. Or, you know what I meant. God, I'm confusing myself. But the thing is, the emphasis on the gold looks really good. Like, it's just seeing, like, a, basically an all-gold front. Oh, my God. You're running a race that's not my best race? Well, what's up, Hurley? How are you doing today, my, my dude? Oh, well, I mean... Uh, on Heat 3, New Hampshire literally... Sucks. I I hated this track. I still do. Like this track should not be on the on the cup schedule. But you know whatever. But uh, you know um, we have to run it. So yeah, because recently they've given a tiny uh tiny lines as a ghost. You still don't have heat for it. Oh shame. Dinner. Are you going to get the uh, Tony Stewart Dirt game that's coming out here next week? I'm thinking about it, honestly. It's from the same people that made uh, the Heat franchise, or, well, these games, so... You can clearly see... Um, you can clearly see uh, the uh, Heat inspiration from it. Yeah, I saw... Um, uh, Fabiano's uh, gameplay of it, and it was like, eh. It was very exactly what I imagined it to be like. The graphics look straight from uh, Heat Evolution. You want Wreckfest? I heard Wreckfest was good. I, never, I still have not played that. Ugh. You're about to run three races at Lanyard and Career Mode. Dang, dude. Going hard. This 
still there. Shouldn't laugh, uh, but you live in the town. Oh, dang. Careful, still there. All clear. It was free with, uh, it was free with gold on Xbox. Yeah, that's what I, I think it was, uh, on that for, uh, PS4 as well, but I, did, I never got it. I mean, chat, you know, I got bigger fish to fry, like Legato here. Oh, in South Carolina? But yeah, it was supposed to be like, like just outside Raleigh, right? Or, you know, Raleigh's North Carolina. My bad. Um, it was supposed to be in South Carolina. I know that. Just like an hour drive away from like Darlington. What town was that? TA. Oh, okay. Tell you a history fact. Okay. All right. All right. And let me think of one. Do I have my notepad with me? Let me uh, dive into my uh, pocketbook here. Hang on, Chad, I'm still thinking of one. God, I'm terrible thinking on the spot. Uh, okay, how about this? Tell me, okay, TA, do me a favor here. <clears throat> what do you want to, uh, what, what topic do you want it to be on? Let's, let's focus it down a little bit. What do you want me to tell you about? A history fact about blank. What's up? But yes, in South Carolina. Okay. Damn, Dave. David. Which, by the way, I was asking for you earlier. Say hi. Say hi. Uh, a history fact about the War of 1812. Well, hang on. TA, what do you want? The Civil War? Okay. Easy. Uh, did you know that during the... Okay. I actually have two, and I'll, I'll actually say it. Um, that this has to do with the Civil War that's actually uh, relatively recently. Um, the state of Virginia no longer honors a day celebrating Stonewall Jackson and Robert E. Lee. And now instead, we'll give the uh, holiday to Election Day. Throughout all this time, the state of Virginia was giving a day off. I forget which day it is exactly. Um, but it was a day off to uh, um celebrate those two and they no longer look at that oh my god we have deep freeze and yes you are alive we have everyone coming out of retirement or egypt i can also do egypt as well so you know what you're getting two for the price of one good sir and david i i see ya give me one hot second um i'm gonna go low here uh egypt did you know that during Embalment. Right, Embalment. That's what I meant to say. Not embalment. God. Now I'm just thinking of like a cat, just like a, a little pharaoh. Not like a little pharaoh cat, tossing around the uh, the wraps of the mummy. That the um, the Valley of the Lost Kings was the first uh, discovery. Was how people uh, first discovered the. Ancient Egyptians. Stay high, stay high. Um, of course, you know, King Tut was the first one they found. All right, you're clear. Get and from there, they went to the Valley of the Lost Kings, and then all of a sudden, bam, there's more, and then we have the great, obviously the great uh, pyramids. That's a little more still there. known, but it's still 
for some people, that's how we essentially rediscovered ancient Egypt. And David, yeah, I was asking about you. Um, oh, okay, Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy, I see. That was awful. Um, but yeah, David. Okay, Joey. Stay low, stay low. Alright. David. I was asking uh, about you earlier. Stay low, stay low. And hopefully you uh, knew oh, that, uh, you know, I was just joking around with you. With the whole Brad Kislowski thing. I, I think you know, I just wanted to be sure. Hey, guys, there, driver. Three wide. All right, clear outside. Uh, let's see here. What's the point of tomorrow's race? Um, literally to get hype for the 500. Careful, still there. I can serve as a sort of practice uh, for these drivers. Yeah, that too. This is like a dry run and uh, build height. Still there. Ooh, dang. Stay low. Ooh, I have a lot of question about, uh, how did King Tut die? He had a, he had a blood disease. Careful, still there. Because when you uh, breathe with Hold your, your family, you kind of get a lot of diseases. You You're clear. He died of a blood disease. I heard he fell off a horse buggy and got murdered? No. Because he died young. He died in his 20s. Well, and chat, you knew that his, uh, that his wife was his sister, right? Yeah, ancient Egyptians were weird. Modern day southerners. <laughs> Not Southerners, I should say. All right, but yeah. Clear. I'll be right back. Don't worry about it, Batman. Car down the inside. Yeah, he, yeah, his wife, well, his wife was his sister, yeah. Yeah, he had a wife. Well, there you go, three facts. They kind of make up for the one that you already knew. Careful, still there. I like that old history. Oh man, I love ancient, uh, ancient times. Careful, still there. Uh, I think we're just gonna go high here. Still there. Still there. Oh, I was wrong. Should have went low. Never cared to learn in school because I, because you was forced to. But now, and that and that's the thing that uh, we actually talk about um, a lot in uh, in school is uh, have the students uh, learn what they want to learn about. Because when you just shove information down their throat, especially when they don't want to, they reject it. You know, essentially they metaphorically throw it back up. Hear me pitting here, Sam. Yeah, David. David, you still here? <clears throat> so we're pitting here again. Brad Kazowski is still in the lead. How far am I in front of Kyle Larson? Oh, yeah, by uh, good ways. In 11th grade, we spent the last two weeks about uh, learning about how JFK got murdered. That was so... 
Well, I mean, like, there's only so much you can talk about, you know? Honestly, I can guarantee that the, your teacher at that point was literally just filling for time. Because that, one, shouldn't even be a lesson. Because it's not recognized in the standards of the state. Um, but because every, I don't know if you know this, uh, chat, but every state has a set of learning standards that every teacher will, uh, will should be looking at and guide their lessons by. And I can guarantee you that, um, learning about the JFK assassination is not one of them. I still don't know how to do my taxes or invest in finances, but gosh darn, I can't sure, I can sure solve for why. Find that X. Damn it, Pulmonard. Still there. You're right. I I agree with you. All right, you're clear. That's why my school also has electives like personal finance and uh, and economics where you can actually learn that kind of stuff. I haven't participated in it, like, so I don't know how the teachers are, but I heard it's good. Yeah, we're gonna be fitting here soon, within the next five laps. Uh, nice even 230, how about that? Lap 230 is when we'll stop. Mine did, but we took an extra shop class. Yeah, but that doesn't... I can build a birdhouse. Ooh. Stay on the bottom here. In your last year of school, and at that point, was it like one of those you generally want to learn about it, or was it like, oh, You're well, this is a requirement? You're all clear up top. Remember, I wanted to go to tech school. Well, I guess, yeah, you're right. Still there. All right, clear outside. Oh, boy. Hello. I took a small uh, gas engine class. Dang. It was fun because uh, we got nothing done. All right, you're clear. We got nothing done, and we were working on... Uh, on motors haven't taken apart 200 times. Dang. I know um, teenagers uh, statistically learn best when something is explained to them in three different ways. But dang, 200 times is a lot. Welcome back, Batman. You're clear. Got one inside. Get down there, Jamie McMurray. Car there on the inside. Oh my God, I've been. Butchering these turns. Jeez. Jeezums. They are just straight trash. Come on, Jamie Curry. Get out of the way. Now the bolts fit. And they were all stripped. And gaskets, gaskets were a mess. Oof. As a teenager, I can say uh, best advice I teach myself. Stay high, stay high. Yeah, you're right. I mean, like I said, you know, um, studies have shown that sometimes. Uh, a student teach themselves is actually a uh, a better practice. Stay high up here. Oh well, I guess no one else is bidding. I'm not gonna bid. Stay high up here. Got kicked out every day for smarting off to the teacher. Ooh, dang. Still there. Ugh. Oh. 
Ooh, dang. I never got why kids, uh, oh, actually, no, I mean, like, I'm kidding when I say this. I know why kids do, um, but, like, those poor subs, you know, they're just doing their job. And all of a sudden, boom, they get locked out of a room. Careful, still there. Kids pranking them. You know, I, I, I get why it happens. I'm just saying. Still there. Still there. All clear. can make it on fuel the rest of the way should the caution come out right now so I guess we're just waiting until everyone else pits it should be any time now god my tires are like on fire right now especially my rears no grip in the rears See, when teachers do that, that's just them being spiteful. That's not conducive to uh, student learning, though. And, you know, I'm always told, you know, you get, like, as a teacher, you gotta put your emotions aside. Time to save tires? Well, we only have, like, eight more laps until, like, seven? Yeah, seven more laps until we need to pay, so, like, I'm not worried about it. Ugh. I'm just saying, it just feels like, ugh, slippy, slippy slidey. Oh, don't worry about it, Batman. had everything. All we had was just metal metal lades uh, for my metal class. And that wasn't even in high school. That was in college. It was all part of uh, getting my degree. Hmm. I guess we're going to be stopping here in the next uh, three laps because I was... Still there. Swearing they were going to be stopping here soon. Still there. Still racing? Yep. That Still that's there. us. All clear. You know what they call us, the uh All right, long clear. ass racers. <laughs> if everyone in class is beyond learning. Oof. Oh, I tried so hard to do that uh, crossover. Stay on the bottom. Clear high, clear high. Got one inside. You got room. You're clear. Oof. Pit this lap or next? Uh, Brad's Brad's pitting this time, so we gotta pit this time. Still 
Back it down, back it down. Here we go, perfect. Bueno. So yeah, everything in class is beyond learning. If you ever had a shop class, you'll understand. Um, I'm gonna lower this up a little bit. Um, you understand uh, that it's a lot of goofing off and getting anything done after the first class and it's purely based on will. Oh yeah, no, I, I've had a, I've had one before. <laughs> he wanted to punish you based on being little assholes. Dang, dude. Were your neighbors for uh, were my neighbors for a get together? Dang. Cheesecake, same. Uh, that being said, I took the four, class four times and made a shelf out of a barrel. Clear out, hammer down. An aluminum wheel is out of a barrel dolly. Nice. Dang, all I have is like, I'm pretty sure I still have it around here somewhere. Like little uh, metal sheets. Because, like I said, it was a metal class for uh, my original major engineering. Literally, the test was how precise can you drill your holes? So I'm sure I still have that around here somewhere. Yes, and that's exactly how it sounds. Yeah, I, I have that same question. So you failed the class four times? Oh, you can take it multiple times. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that question. But why, though? plan to stream uh, other games in the future um well you know i was always told to stick with a brand all right you're clear and i guess my brand is racing i mean i guess maybe in the future i'll try out the tony stewart one the tony stewart dirt game because you know why not i want to i want to stick to racing games that's like my brand i'm not gonna do like shooters all or anything clear. like that got a combo now clear down low You took all the cl easy classes with no homework. Hashtag same. The Tony Stewart Dirt game doesn't look very good. Well, it's made by the people that... Uh, it looks like NASCAR Heat Evolution, like, let's be honest here. And that game looked like trash. Oh, wow. New fast slap finally on lap right, 246. Ooh, we're breaking records, guys. We're going places. So, fifth, third, second. Oh, wow. Brad Keselowski has such a lead that Joey Logano is in second right now, and he is half a lap behind him. Meanwhile, second, third, fourth, and fifth is right here in the same set of corners. Oh, I swear I was going to make contact with Cody Ware there. Careful, still there. Sometimes you even surprise yourself. Outside, outside. All clear. Oh, hello. Hello, wall. I almost smacked you. Voice cracking. Respect diminishing. Chat's gonna make fun of me for being a prepubescent teen. Still voice cracking. It's because, chat, is I haven't had any water lately. The thing is, I get either coffee or water before every stream. I have this big-ass Yeti filled with water here, and I have yet to take a single drop of that. 
And I consider that my own damn fault. I kind of forgot that we passed Kyle Bush here. Still there. Oh, that was a, that was a, uh, a diamond right there. We diamonded the hell out of that corner. Careful, still there. You got room. You're clear. Hold your line. Got one inside. All clear. Car there on the inside. Clear low, bud. You know, the thing is, chat, I'm beating my rivals, but literally we're all in the top six. Got a car low now. Clear low, bud. All four of us are in the top six right now. Damn it. I had a teacher in high school that was so young. I saw him in, the, I saw him in, middle, in my middle school as, as a uh, student teacher, and I thought he was just... Uh, the super responsible student that was given responsibility over a small class. Dang. Well, you know, the thing is, he's probably fresh out of uh, high school because you can get a teaching job with a bachelor, but if you want to actually advance your career, advance your t uh, like teaching uh, level, you have to have like a master's or above. He was just short and baby face. Dang. Hashtag same. If I, uh, cause chat, I, I have a goatee. I don't know if you, you, well, you guys don't know that. Because I don't post pictures of me. You guys don't know what I look like. But, um, anyway. Um, I have a goatee. And if I took that off, my god. I look like a little five-year-old. Not even kidding. Not even trying to be funny. Careful, still there. All clear. He taught government. Hey, same. Um, he taught government and economics and history and legit respected him and we tried to keep his political views. Uh, in the class. Until they asked him. Of course, yeah. Well, the thing is, a uh, way to get around that is say like okay i'm gonna let you know how i feel about this at the end of the school year because most of the time they forget they forget to ask you serious like cool good talk and he really spoke uh from opinion to remain as unbiased as possible and see that's the thing in social studies is to remain unbiased and that's really the hard part because you can you can teach opinions all that just from your vocab and that's really what not what not to do in a uh, social studies position is to talk of opinion. Original Star Trek just came on. Oh, see, I'm a Star Wars kind of guy. I hate Siri. Chat, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have an honest uh, question here. When Siri comes on, when it sounds like I say like, hey Siri or anything like that, does, uh, can you hear Siri in the background? Like that? Or am I just making stuff up? I heard her. Oh, dang. Oh, called out. Uh, I also gave him, um, gave him hell by wishing a happy hump day every Wednesday because uh, he thought the commercial sounded dirty. I mean, you're not the... He wouldn't be the only one, honestly. Uh, a bunch of parents, I'm sure, thought it sounded dirty. 
Like, until I knew what it meant, I thought it sounded dirty. I mean, let's be honest here. Because when I hear Happy Hump Day, I'm just like, oh, oh boy. I mean, like, as a, like, a little high schooler, you know, it's just like, oh, man. Risque. But now here you are as a full-fledged adult, and you're just like, oh. Such language. Alright, Jamie McMurray. Careful, still there. Alright, you're clear. Oh man. I can see what you mean. By uh by uh you said you were being like uh you were being like a uh, little bastard. I can I can see the problems that would uh, come from that, like from the teacher standpoint point of view. You're just like, oh my god, here's TA yet again. That was a terrible corner. There's a camel with a hump day and uh, had everything written on it. Aww, a good little inside joke though. You had your moments. I think we all had our moments, honestly. Like as uh, high schoolers, we all we all had our our moments of good and bad. But chat, let's uh let's talk about uh, the future. What do you want to see after this race? Do you want to do you want to see regular online or do you want to see some pro league stuff? Cuz by my knowledge I'm still like rank A in A rank. So tell me what you want to see. Or do you just want to call it a day? Now every passive moment's trying to be funny. And see, I usually just do that, just at my own expense. I want to see Star Wars. Eh. That was it. <sighs> That's my opinion on that. You go with uh, Nina and uh, watch Star Trek. That's like Star Wars, right? Exactly the same. Five minutes ago, you literally said you were a Star Wars fan. I know, I was making a joke. I know, but I don't want to see Star Wars right now. I mean, like, I'm, I'm a Star Wars guy, but I don't want to see Star Wars, like, every day. Every moment of my life. Still there. <laughs> Whoa, that was a terrible corner. Still there. I go for some ice cream right now. I don't know, probably because I just saw Briars, and I'm just like, hmm, that's an ice cream brand. God, I could go for some uh, cookies and cream ice cream right now. Like I said, I'm still planning on having that bowl after, uh, um, bowl of, uh, cookies and cream after. Because, like I said, connoisseur of cuisine. That was my nickname in high school. Private 
connoisseur pattern of cuisine. Whoa, Turex. Want to go a little faster there? Still there. Oh, great. Uh, restart my upload again. Dang! And upload to my PZ since uh, I can't select and draw over. Oh, Ooh. Yeah, there you go. Get some peanut butter. Let's share. How are we doing to Kyle, by the way? Where is he at? Oh, there he is. He's three and a half back. I don't really care. Yeah, dang, Cozy. I'm sorry. Oh, did that league ever get back to you um, after their race and say, hey, why aren't you in the race? Yeah, Oreos and peanut butter. Yep, yeah, well, time to leave that league. But I know you already did, so, like... Oh, well, whatever. That's on them. Yeah, TA, have you never had Oreos and peanut butter? God. About to have a Reese's. <laughs> Are we about to have a Reese's? Yeah, your mouth's watering, aren't you? Isn't it? Dude, I could go for some uh, uh, peanut butter right now. Like, I don't know. Like, I heard peanut butter is the best way if you're looking to put on, like, fat. Uh, just literally eat a jar of peanut butter. Okay, well, this is gonna suck. I guess I'm just gonna follow David Reagan. Stay on the bottom. So, like, if you're ever, like, exercising and you're wanting to put on fat, just peanut butter right there. But, dude, I could go for some peanut butter right now. Clear high, bud. Uh-oh. Dude, where is, where is David? David. Brad Keselowski DNF'd. You're clear. Because we're now in third. Right, where is he at? Clear. At David. Clear low. You don't have peanut butter and I don't need more fat? Are you sure? At David, where are you at? Brad Keselowski's out of this race. Ugh. Feels good, man. We went from, uh, we went from fourth to third in a blink of an eye because <laughs> he is uh, overheating right now. I told you, chat. The person that leads the most uh, laps never wins the race. Still there. Chat, we have an actual oh, shot no. at uh, winning this race if uh, we can actually uh, get like a caution. Hold your line. Clear low. Oh, hello. All right, you're clear. Car down the inside. Because I don't think it's going to happen clear. if it's. Uh, if it's uh, just green. Careful, still there. Farther on the inside. David, where are you at, man? We have something to show you. Stay high. All clear. Well, oh, man, that was a bad corner. Farther on the inside. It's like I didn't even try there. Clear. Yeah, he must be busy. I mean, he's probably talking to, uh... I like clear. He's probably talking to his SO, so... Yeah. Alright, you're clear. 
to his girl, you know? Gotta love Michelle. He's a, he's a good guy. He's a busy guy. I understand. I just wanted to give him crap. Well, more crap than what I was already giving him, so... Moving on. But yeah... Dang, chat, we're coming up to 20 to go. Careful, still there. Man, can I, like, stop going wide? That's what I want for Christmas. Oreos, uh, Oreos, come to me. You are what I desire. Use the force. God, when I was a kid, this is gonna is a little embarrassing, but I'm gonna share it anyway. Uh, has anyone like tried to use the force? Like same with um, uh, Dragon Ball. Like in Dragon Ball Z, like when you like try to fly or do a kamehameha, I try to use the force, and uh, I remember telling a group of kids, "Guys, check it out! I'm a Jedi, and I try to move this rock." And they all watch, and you're just like, you're an idiot. <laughs> that was me. Little grade school private pad. Hold your line, stay high. Careful, still there. To be fair, though, I also had a uh, like one of those uh, plastic lightsabers as a kid. Oh my god, I, I played the other one. Got it. One of it was red and one was uh, blue. So I I played with those like all day every day. Lightsaber battles. I remember it exactly too. It was it was as. Uh, it was as real as it can be. That could be worse. Oh, well. I mean, yeah. You're right. I was just making a statement. the force is the destiny of a Jedi, yeah. Yeah, I know. Careful, still there. All clear. When I die, I will be one with the force. You didn't pick on other kids for being Star Wars fans? Oh, well, yeah. No, we picked on them for being Star Trek fans. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, either way, yeah, you're right, you're right. Ugh, mamma mia. Oh, hello. Chat, first place is right there. Kevin Harvick is right there. We just need a caution. Caution, pit, get fresh tires. We're off to the races. Hold your line. Stay high. Because I don't think I can do it on these worn-ass tires. Careful, still there. Watch the hell out of uh, Star Trek Voyager, though. Oh, yeah. I didn't. I never... I Like I said, I never got into Star Trek. Never did. Papa always watched it. Aw.
Whoa, that could have been a harder impact than it was. That was a love tap. Me neither, I just like the theme song. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a, that was not what I expected. Careful, still there. I was I was expecting like a grandiose uh Oh well, uh, since your papa always uh, watched it, you decided to sit down and watch it one day, and that's when I decided I was a Trekkie. Got a car low now. Me too. The space movie uh, I got into was uh, was Star Wars and Transformers. Now, see, I never got into Transformers either. Call me basic, chat. I am a lover of few things, but what I do love, I adore. My favorite western. Because you like the theme song? Turned out like the show, too. You watch it with Papa as well. Aww. Wait, what about a door? I said I, I love few things, but what. Uh, I did love, I absolutely adored. Chat, it is a three-way battle for the lead. We're all within two seconds of each other. I just need a caution, but I feel like at this point, we're running out of laps. <laughs> Zar, yeah, you're right. Oh, okay, welcome back, David. Okay, well, first of all, like I said, I just wanted to uh, uh, say that, you know, when I was, I was just joking with you earlier, right? I was just, I was just messing with you. I just want to let you know that. We adore NASCAR. Yes, we do. We are all part of the NASCAR fam. But yeah, I just want to let you know that. That I was just joking around Still with there. you. We assumed that you were talking to uh, Michelle the entire time. Oh yeah, of course. I know. I love it because uh, me and the girlfriend were spending time together. Oh, I get you. Okay, well, since we're on the same page, uh, Brad Keselowski blew an engine. While leading by half a track. <clears throat> and I was just like, I freaking call someone better pick up that phone cuz i freaking called it still there all clear <laughs> rigged <laughs> i'm just saying i said this from the top of the show that the person that leads the most laps never wins in this game <laughs> and Ke well, meanwhile, Kevin Harvick is leading this race. Careful, Eric Jones there. is in second. I'm in third, and we're all within a second of each other. You're all clear up top. I needed a caution in order to win this race. I never got one. We're coming to two to go, oh, three to go, I should say. Take the apron, because why not? Uh, what did you guys think of Haley Dean getting her second place? In oh, hello. Hello, wall. Stay low, stay low. Uh... Stay on the bottom here. All clear. I mean, it was all right. She could she could have won, but she didn't back up uh, her... Uh, Still there. Back up the draft a little bit. Let Michael Sutton uh, get a uh, uh, get a uh, big lead. So she lost because of it. 
All right, well, two to go. Unless we get a caution, like, right now. This race is gonna end with the next flag. White flag, next time by. You were singing that the entire time? I was just like, dude, just back it up. And she didn't. Oh, I taught you that? Hey! Well, dang, I, I've done my job properly then. Well, dang, Chad, we needed a caution. We never got it. But you know what? After the disaster that was Kentucky, I will say that third place ain't half bad. Kevin Harvick wins, much like in real life, and we come home P3. Very close, yet so far. 102 speed rating? God. I feel like that should at least have been 103. Anyway, moving on. That <laughs> noise. But yeah, she like she never slingshotted herself, and I'm just like, well, hell, why are you doing this? Okay, so we gain a grand total of one point on Joey Logano. Yeah. Oh, there's Ryan Blaney and his disaster. Oh, oh, and decides just. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, and there. Oh, oh, and uh, takes a uh, park logan with him. Because why not? Good job, Blaney. Anyway, um, so yeah, all the way down here, we see two of the three Penske boys. Literally. Brad Keselowski had a half a track gap to all of us, then all of a sudden, I see, bloop, down to third. And I'm just like, well, oh, Brad Keselowski blew an engine. Either that or blew a tire, it was one of those. And it was an engine, so there we go. Anyway, so let's see these points. Oh, we're back into it, chat. Look how close it is. This is why I love such good racing with Brad Kozlowski's disappointing day. The top four is within 20 points of each other. We are 11 out of the lead, and Joey Logano takes over the points lead. But Brad Kozlowski lost this race. Oh, man, look at that. Very, a very good day. So close. Where are we going next? I want to say it's Watkins Glen. Brad Keselowski led fastest lap. He's going to lead the most laps, too. <laughs> uh, Bubba, actually, oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, 11th place. Nice job, Bubba. From basically... <laughs> oh, I think... I think uh, that basically sums up uh, Brad Kozlowski's day right there. First two right here. Fastest lap, most laps led, and then you go to tough break. Perfectly summarized. I don't even need to say a thing. <laughs> At least it wasn't Denny since this chat hates him. No, at that point we wish it was Denny because it's Denny Hamlin. Oh, it's Indy, and then Watkins Glen, which doesn't make any sense considering that on this schedule, because they have Michigan all the way down the, there as well. So what, whatever. So Indy, honestly, it should be a pretty decent day for us. I'm expecting a top, top ten out of it. <sighs> Denny can wreck every race, and <laughs> and I wouldn't bat an eye. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So yeah, God, a grand total of really 18 points separate first through fourth. This is anyone's championship, honestly. I am looking forward to it. Um, Kurt Busch trying to grind his way up there. He is just 20 points out of, really 15 out of uh, Brad. So yeah, we're going to Indy next, so the Brickyard. Um, and then Watkins Glen. Watkins Glen, honestly, should be a good race for us. We're always good at the road courses. And then Michigan, and then Darlington. Oh yeah, it's just gonna be good. 